Today, we have two AI stories for you. President Biden's groundbreaking executive order on AI regulations has just been released. It marks a significant leap in AI governance, focusing on safety, security, and reliability. This order mandates transparency for advanced AI systems safety testing and risk assessments. High-risk AI developers are now required to share their findings with the U.S. government. The National Institute of Standards and Technology will set strict standards, including red team testing, to ensure comprehensive safety evaluations before AI systems public release. The order also addresses AI's potential involvement in engineering dangerous biological materials, emphasizing strict standards for biological synthesis screening. To combat AI-enabled fraud and deception, the Department of Commerce leads an initiative to detect and label AI-generated content. This effort is expected to inspire similar measures in the private sector and globally. This executive order marks a significant milestone in AI governance, ensuring AI's benefits while safeguarding privacy, civil rights, and security. What is the state of AI? Over the past year, large language models have dominated the AI landscape. Their rapid advancements have caught everyone by surprise, impacting research, industry dynamics, and geopolitics. Last year's State of AI report highlighted the decentralization of AI research. However, Big Tech, led by OpenAI's GPT-4, has made a powerful return, leading to increased reliance on their capabilities. Despite this, the open source community continues to thrive with a surge in the number of releases. New fault lines have emerged in the AI landscape, challenging traditional norms of openness due to commercial pressures and safety concerns. The debate centers around how we govern and mitigate existential risks associated with AI. Openness and safety are central themes, exemplified by MetaAI's Llama model family as a powerful, publicly accessible alternative. But governance models often require cooperation among geopolitical rivals. This State of AI report emphasizes challenges in evaluating state-of-the-art models, calling for robust approaches in AI research. Today, we are highlighting the work of Aidan Gomez, CEO and co-founder of Cohere, from Time's 100 Most Influential People in AI. In 2017, a 20-year-old Aiden Gomez, then a Google intern, co-authored a groundbreaking research paper titled, Attention is All You Need. The paper introduced the Transformer, a neural network techni technique that would revolutionize the field of AI. Gomez and his team raced against time, even sleeping in the office to meet the deadline for a major AI conference. Little did they know, their work would underpin the current generative AI boom exemplified by ChatGPT. For Gomez, the immediate goal was building translation capabilities, and the paper's far-reaching consequences were yet to be unveiled. Since the paper's publication, all the co-authors, including Gomez, ventured into their own entrepreneurial journeys. Aiden Gomez is now the CEO of Cohere, a Toronto-based enterprise that empowers businesses to integrate AI into their products, such as chatbots and search engines. Cohere recently secured $270 million in funding, achieving a valuation exceeding $2 billion, with investors like Jeffrey Hinton and Salesforce. Gomez's vision is to bridge the gap between AI theory and practical implementation, particularly in enhancing customer support. Aiden Gomez strongly dismisses the notion of AI posing a threat to humanity. He envisions AI language models become an important part of every online interaction. Thanks for tuning in to AI Equation. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving us a review and sharing the show with your friends. Can't wait to bring you more AI insights next time.